I hope everybody has read this remarkable report. Please, let's have a show of hands as to who's read it. Good. Well, there's some of you that need to have some homework tonight because it's a remarkable document and it tries to describe the world as we're moving into it and describe the world in 2025, 15 years from now. Uh, in describing this world, I would like to maybe remind us all of a very, very sort of a um, impressive issue which won't surprise you coming from me as representative of Nokia. In 2009, the number of mobile broadband customers has already overtaken the number of fixed line users. More broadband mobile customers than there are fixed line users. But the second thing that I think is important in this 2009 today figure is that 47% of those are not in Europe. 40% of those, in fact, are in APAC. 17% of those are in America. Only 20% of those are in Europe. Sometimes that's probably a reflection of my age. I hear this old comparison of old and new. I don't think the issue is old and new. I think the issue is slow and fast. So I'd like to make a call or several calls to address this 2025 world that we're all eager to move into. My first call would be, and this is a quotation uh, um, or a sort of a call made by uh, Alfredo Acebal in the post-2010 uh, meeting which we had just a few days ago. I would like to call for a Mr. Digital, Mr. and Mrs. Digital Society in every member state. 27 member states, how many of those have a minister for digital society? or digital economy. Because if every member state doesn't have that, we already have a problem. My second call would be to have a parliamentary digital society or digital economy subcommittee. We need to have parliament invest its focus on this digital society that we're already part of and that we're moving into. My third call would be to have a Mr. or Mrs. Digital Economy Commissioner. We need that badly. In fact, if you pull all of these together, you will understand that what I'm calling for is a European digital single market that exists. And that exists the sooner, the better. Because the handle we had on digital economy, the handle that we had on digital innovation, and particularly in the field of mobility, we've lost. We've lost to other continents. We've lost, and our customers, our consumers are moving elsewhere. I have children. My children today, when they want to explore new territories, innovative practices, where do they want to go and work? They want to go and work in Singapore or they want to go and work in San Francisco. How many of those want to stay here? And if we cannot hold on to our children and their children, we're losing that battle. So my call is a very serious one. In this crystal ball gazing that we are trying to uh, to achieve in this document, I would like to simply suggest that the time of touching a device is over. Pretty soon, you'll be talking to your device. You'll be talking to your device and asking your device to access services free. Once you're logged on to these services, of course, as they are offered to you, they will be build. My last call 
is for collaborative, open competition and transparency. My call is for focused regulation to foster horizontal horizontalization and disintermediation. Because our digital revolution fuels productivity, well-being, reach to all, inclusion of everybody. So I call on our industry players, European industry players, to work together. Make this happen. Make this happen for Europe. Make this happen for us. Thank you.